The use of robots at many universities around the world has been rapidly increasing in recent years. The Aberdeen School of Architecture at Bond University on Australia's Gold Coast is the latest in a long list of universities that are realising the many benefits that robots can bring to enrich the educational experiences of their students. Bond University, set on a 49.86 hectare campus at Rabina in Queensland, was created in the traditions of many of the world's leading private universities. Its visually impressive campus, consisting of a series of grand sandstone faculty buildings, sits on a tranquil man-made lake. The university offers a range of programs spanning health sciences and medicine, business, law, society and design, and architecture. Today, we take a look inside the robotics workshop at the Aberdeen School of Architecture, where an ABB robotic system has been designed and installed by ABB authorised value provider, PFI. We will look at how the versatility of the ABB robot has allowed it to be utilised in a variety of innovative applications. Dr. Abedian had a long-standing relationship with the university. He was educated as an architect and is currently a, a designer and property developer who owns uh, Sunland Group here on the coast and he's developed buildings like the Q1 and Palazzo Versace. He wanted to institute a, um, a world-class architecture school somewhere near here and, and sort of give back to the architectural community. So that's how that came about. And there was a design competition for this building in late 2010 and uh, this building was finished late last year uh, by Sir Peter Cook and Gavin Robottom of Crab Architects in London. Basically it was a, a price versus flexibility issue. Uh, for the same price as a, a robot rig, we could get something that was much more flexible um, than we would normally buy for a piece of equipment. So with a robot we could actually put any sort of end effector on it, which, and it could be welding, it could be multi-axis milling, water jet cutting, you know, stacking and placing, all those kinds of things for relatively low price and a lot of flexibility and that's I think why we chose it. Currently it's doing multi-axis milling, um, it's doing smaller things like drawing pictures, it's also doing pick and place operations, um, but we have plans for it to do a lot more things. Uh, we're currently working on a few pavilions that are being built and the robot will figure heavily into that. The biggest challenge is um, the fact that we wanted to do everything. Uh, most robots uh, are doing one or two things over and over again, but ours is doing something different pretty much every day, so we have to be able to account for that. When we described what we wanted the robot to do, which was again pretty much anything, ABB didn't pause. They, they started sending people down here, I think, before we even made a decision to go with ABB, trying to figure out what the best situation for the robot would be and the best applications for it and the best spaces for it and all of the, the safety and integration and try to get that all planned so that ABB could provide us with the robot that was best for us, not just a robot. The students were extremely excited. Um, we couldn't get it installed fast enough for them. Uh, we just finished teaching one class uh, where the students interacted and programmed the robot and it was, uh, it was pretty intense for us and them, but everybody learned a lot and everybody had a great time. And a lot of students are already planning on what they're going to be doing with the robot next. Bond University had bought some robots and equipment from ABB and they were looking for a partner to help integrate it all and that's where we came in. ABB has a fantastic reputation as a robot supplier. Um, when you are integrating a system like this it's very important to have support. Um, when you come across hurdles which are inevitable in any project it's great to be able to have someone that you can jump on the phone to and um, get some help from quickly. Um, the IRB 6640 is uh, well renowned for its uh, reliability. Uh, it's also got a very, very good reach and a good payload. Um, so going forwards, um, it's going to be able to with, um, withstand any sort of payload that Bond is planning to use. And also for those uh, long reaches, it will be able to make it. Um, so the IRB 6640 gave the university the flexibility they were looking for. There's about 30 universities at the time when we got this that had industrial robots in an architectural application and we had been talking to the, the ones that did have ABB, what they liked and didn't like and so that helped us make a good decision based on what other people were doing in the same sort of academic and uh, creative space that we're working in.